Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we helped out around Colony 6 by making medicine and then having to help Barry Jammy get over her addiction. And then we came here, here to continue with the story, learning more about the Monado. Oh, and how we can change the future. Anyway, before we continue, I might as well go through my Collectopedia and see if I have... Yes, I have everything from Balak Mountain. Sour Radish. The sour taste will give you a kick, often used in alternative medicine. Ice Cabbage. Only grows in cold places. It looks spicy, but it's actually not. The Girl Coggery. As cute red ed, ed cog, coggerite, sweet and, and succulent. The Amethyst Vala. A strong sour veggie to warm you up. Available in cold hand. Cold lands. Tastes okay. For that, we get heavy boots. Eat for plum. A satisfying sweet plum that is so popular with the ladies. Fire apple. I just imagine like an apple like on fire. <laughs> Looks like an ordinary apple, but one bite and you'll be spouting out flames. The ruby mango stern. A fruit that sparkles like a jewel, outshines other fruits in tanginess. The sour grape. Seth would absolutely love this. Is an astonishingly, an astonishing result from chewing fra fragment of a wonderful fragrance. We get chill defense. Fortune Mallow. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention uh, the previous episode. I actually did sell off a lot of my gems, uh, a lot of my crystals. I made a few gems. Popular with women and in children. Some find it too beautiful to behold. The Black Act Peloy. With pedal falls and emits a sound that makes a heart leap. The Fatal Bell Dorama. Looks like a fairy at play. Makes everyone smile. We got Confused Resist. The Wet Rat. Although it has thick, soggy fur, cuddling one keeps you warm. The Ice Monkey. I'm just imagining like a monkey made of pure ice. Dwells in rock crevices and cold lands. Its skin is smooth like ice. The Crystal Frog. I only have one. Well, we'll put it in. I'm going to have to go grab more later. This frog collects its frugal pieces and sticks them all over its body. The mud squirrel. Segregates a protective oil on its skin. A great little swimmer. Get aura healed ale free. The crimson bomb branch. A branch from the, I from the ice tree sends a beam of light into the sky at night. The black ash. Textured some stone made of lumps of charcoal. Emerald snow. Green snow made of wind in scattered leaves, crumbled over time. The rabbit stone. A red gemstone the color of a rabbit's eye. The boom icicle. Finely branched like a bloom, whom it uses for a sweeping motion. Get heavy gear. The frost glass. Shulk was shivering as he named it. No one knows, knows if it's ice or glass. The large handcuffs. Didn't take Ryan long to name these. Big green rings made of monster fur. We get chill ch uh, plus free. And for completing the area, we get the, the Surgerous Cutlass. Let's take a look at that. Not leave the menu. Ooh, that's actually not... Uh, I don't like that it looks like his regular sword, but I won't argue with the um, stat increases. I'll just get rid of the auto attack on this. Auto attack. Double attack, I mean. Uh, let me see. So let's get double attack. And how about art heal? Uh, not art heal. Uh, what was it? Aura heal or whatever? HP seal. 12% probability that the auto attack will recover HP. Ooh, that's actually not bad. And with double attack? Yeah. I'll actually give you that. Now, there was a heart-to-heart -heart in here. I actually did manage to build up a 
Ryan, Ryan. Um, Dumban and Ricky's affinity. So let's view heart to heart in Osei Tower. Just need to get the um the thing up. If I can find it. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Come on. Osei Tower. Don't man! Ricky not like it here. Ricky go brrrr inside and outside. Yes, it is bitterly cold. No, Dumban, not right. Ricky means something different. Well, what then? Tell me. Ricky instincts tell him. Ricky is cold. Was cold. Ghosts are here. The correct answer is ghosts. Ghosts come out and fright Ricky. Hereupon, kapow you away. Who exactly are you ranting on at, Ricky? Dunban! Dunban must leave now! Not safe here! I do sense something strange in the air. It's not right somehow. Maybe you are on to something. <laughs> Dunban know what ghost is? Ricky, if you're really scary. You wanna say, Dunban know what ghost is? I'm gonna tell you a story, Ricky, but first, a question. Do you know anything about the Monado expedition team? Alvis told Ricky some information. Ricky Shulk was one of team members. Ricky was very surprised. That's right. Fourteen years ago, the team set out, out to find the Monado. They found it here in these ruins, but only one of them came home. That was Shulk. Shulk's Daddy Pond and Mummy Pond not come home? No, they did not make it back. Perhaps the Monado rejected them. Or perhaps... When Ricky come here, Ricky feel different. Ricky sometimes hear voice worried about Shulk. Is that so? You got an instinct for this. I didn't hear a thing. Here is special place to Shulk. Ricky remember that at and not Kapow Ghost. So very interesting heart to heart as Ricky apparently can see ghosts. Either Ricky has really good senses, or Nopon have uh, can see goat uh, can be able to see goats where regular people cannot. But anyway, it's time we start making our way down the mountain. As we have done everything we can currently do here at Valak Mountain. I believe, um, I don't, unless we have to come here to, like, get certain items of enemies or certain items from item orbs. We have very uh, little reason to come here outside of, um, quests and, because quests here don't open and actually, we're actually getting some pretty rare weather. You may notice there, uh, there's a lot of snow and all the lights from the crystals have stopped. This is Blizzard. This is the Balak Mountain's rare, re uh, unique weather condition. Randomly, I believe this only happens at night. I don't think I've ever seen it happen in the day. A blizzard can blow in. Uh, Valak Mountain's strongest enemies tend to spawn in during Blizzard, so keep that in mind. Including one or two of the game's super bosses that appear near the end of the game. So just be a bit wary when traveling through Valak Mountain during a blizzard, as that's when Valak Mountain's strongest enemies tend to come out. I think, um, besides from, like, optional super bosses, uh, I believe there's a monster you can hunt during a blizzard. But I think we don't get that quest until near the end of the game. Actually, 
save a bit of time. So anyway, let's get down here. As it's time to finally leave Balak Mountain. Uh, I want to change my party around for this. I believe... Here we go. That Mekon. It is you. Hey, that's Fiora! Young heir to the Monado. We meet again. Fiora! Fiora? Is that my name? Then you... You know this body? So it's true. You really don't remember us at all. Fiora, listen! If nothing else, you must remember your family. That's Dunban over there. Family? There is family. Wielder of the Monado. There is a matter I must speak to you about. Fiora! What was that? Metal face. Stay alert! You killed my father! Get him! Get away from her! No, no. Let's all calm down. If I slip, I might mess up her hair. You... You're disgusting! Would you be so kind and hand over that dangerous toy you have? I could take it after I smash you all to a pulp. <laughs> but we wouldn't want that, would we? All right. You can have it. But only if you let her go. There's a good boy. Always eager to please, Shulk. <laughs> but you're... How's it going, Dunman? Is that... I thought it might be, but you're to blame for all this. I can't tell you how badly I wanted this sword. Has this puny boy even figured out how it works yet? What are you willing to do? Would you even kill a Homs to beat us? You dare ask that of us? Why did you betray us the Conis? Why did you kill our friends at the colony? Why? You want to know? Because it's your home. You piece of... Stay where you are. That thing works by remote. So unless you want me to put a hole in her neck... So what's it to be, weaklings? <laughs> Grovel at my feet and beg! <laughs> we will not bow to you! Will you hit bad guy in face? Uh, you'll pay for that, princess! You're a traitor, Mumkar, and you're not getting away. I love that. Melee hit bad guy in face. Okay, so here's a boss fight. Monkar. The pilot of Metal Face. The entire time it's been Monkar who's who's willingly betrayed the Homs. 
Let's fight him. So he does act. So he does uh, behave like a mechon. So you will need to use enchant. Ooh, nice dodge, Shulk. So let's have Dun. So I choose to have Dunban in this fight because he personally knows Monkar and also Melia because I think she deserves a bit of revenge. Let's go for a chain attack. You fought beside me! At Sword Valley! Why did you change sides? Uh, why the Mekon? You're as blind as you were then! I've wanted you dead for years! What's happening? Is the Bionis moving? I wanted to get to Monaco so I could be the new hero! Is that it? That's the pure reason you killed all those innocent people! Ravage the home! I love this body! <laughs> the power! Strike you down and all that you have become, you wretched fool. The Monado will stop you, and then you will know the shame of all that you have done, traitor! Shut your mouth and come on! Uh! That light! It's not like the other Mechon. You are right, heir to the Monado. This is the strongest Mechon ever built. Controlled by me, Egil, leader of Mechonis, an agent of Maynet. Leader of Mechonis? So you're the one who controls the Mechon? I am he. We fight to free the world from the tyranny of the Bionis. Why? Why do you trap bombs in machines? What do you want from us? Why make us fight for you? Your questions do not concern me. I must return with this one. Fiora! Get your hands off her! Fiora! If you want her, come and get her. You are more than welcome on the comics. Come and visit any time, Dunban! Munka! We're coming! And we won't give up! Find us, Monado, Sword of the Bionis. We will meet you on the battlefield. Fiora, we will find you! Fiora! And after all that, we'll end the episode here. So in the next episode, oh, we'll see... We'll head, head to the next chapter and make our way to rescue Fiora. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.